Okay, thanks. Thank you, everyone. I'm Li Ping Liu, and uh, today I'm going to talk about our work constraint transduction selection for reserve design. This is a joint work with my advisor Tom Dietrich. So now let's see. Uh, let's first see what kind of reserve design problem we have. Um, suppose we have a planning area consisting of a set of uh, land parcels. And uh, we want uh, to purchase a subset of these land parcels to protect an endangered species. The goal is to maximize uh, the land parcels uh, purchased that uh, have the species present. So uh, there are potentially there are two sub problems. Uh, the first problem is, is to find uh, which land parcels have the species present. We call these land parcels positive, you know, in the machine learning world. Uh, we want uh, positive land parcels. Um, but it's often expensive to survey each land parcel to uh, get uh, the label of each land parcel. Instead, we often have a training set to depend on. Suppose ecologists can provide us a training set. Uh, suppose their land parcel, these are land parcels from a sep uh, separate planning area and they are surveyed. And uh, for all, all land parcels, we have uh, feature vectors to describe them. Um, the second sub problem is to make the purchase decision. Often we will have constraints, right? Suppose budget constraint. So we have to make the purchase decision subject to such constraint. Uh, this problem can, can be solved by a very basic two-step method. That is to run a uh, species distribution model to estimate the label, uh, labels uh, for the uh, land parcels in planning area, and then uh, optimize our, set, our selection of land parcels. Uh, in our work, we would like to propose the new formulation, constraint constructive selection for this problem. We want to put the two sub-problem into one to optimize the selection of land parcels directly. So let's see the input uh, of this problem includes a training set uh, I just introduced, provided by ecologists, a test set, these are land parcels uh, in our planning area. We don't have their labels. And also a set of selection constraints. In this simple example, uh, we only have one selection constraint. And uh, the goal is to select as many uh, positive instances as possible. That means select as many uh, land parcels that contains the species as possible. And uh, with this simple constraint here, uh, this selection is a very good one because all three land parcels selected are positive. So certainly compared to uh, uh, Professor uh, Fuller's um, reserve design formulation, ours is much uh, uh, abstract and uh, unreal unrealistic. We neglect a lot of details, but here we keep the, make the core idea clearer, actually. That is to combine the distribution estimation and the selection problem into one problem. So let's see uh, a special case of this problem. That is, we uh, only use the very simple constraint. Uh, we only select k land parcels from this planning area. And the goal is to maximize the number of positive land parcels selected, or equivalently, we want to maximize the precision of this uh, selection. So for this, uh, for this uh, special case, this special problem, we have invented the TTK method. And uh, our learning model is our selection classifier. This classifier directly predicts k land parcels as positive, and these land parcels will directly form our uh, final selection of land parcels. That means after we get this classifier, we get the selection. The hypothesis space of this selection classifier is HK. 
the first uh, question you might have is why do we want to use selection classifier? Uh, this is because uh, selection classifier is the model doing the actual work. Each uh, ranker corresponds to a selection classifier. So take this simple example. Uh, uh, here is a very simple example. These are land parcels from our planning area. These are task examples. And the green dots are positive, blue squares are negative. Suppose you have you train an uh, SVM classifier, but uh, SVM can, can give labels, but uh, cannot directly give you the selection of uh, land puzzles because it has it predicts more than three positives in this test set. Then you might want to use SVM scores to rank all land puzzles, and then select uh, top three as your selection. And now you see, you, you, you're using your selection classifier, right? Actually, there is a better one. So this selection classifier uh, can get three positive land puzzles. So here is the point. Selection classifier is the model that uh, doing the actual work. So we want to optimize the selection classifier directly instead of training a ranker as an intermediate uh, step. The second, uh, the second question is what to opt optimize the selection classifier. Uh, we discover this deterministic relation between uh, the preceding at k measure of the selection classifier and its accuracy on the test set. So with this relation, that means uh, if we maximize its accuracy on the test set, we directly maximize uh, its uh, precision at k measure on the test set. So the second idea is to maximize its accuracy. Then we have the formulation. Uh, the objective is the same as uh, the SVM. That means we want to maximize its accuracy. And uh, we train the classifier directly from the HK space. Um, I won't go to detail or, uh, of my of my in this formulation, but uh, here are general ideas. We can rewrite the constraint into a set of linear constraints, uh, and then we can we get a uh, mixed state integer programming problem. The objective is quadratic and uh, the constraints are linear. And then we can use off-the-shelf solvers to solve this problem. This is for uh, smaller problems. For large problems, we will use our feasible direction method. Uh, this method, it relatively makes descending steps in, uh, with feasible step loss in feasible directions. So let's go back. Uh, th this, is, uh, this is the performance of our uh, TTK method for the trans transductive precision at k problem. And uh, we have used seven UCI datasets and uh, three species datasets. We can see we have made a significant improvement on three datasets. Um, then let's go back to the general constraint, uh, constraint uh, transductive selection problem. Uh, we can have more complex selection constraints. For example, in linear form, actually linear form can be very imp impressive. For example, we can write the body constraint into linear form and also the group constraint. In this uh, constraint, we can only select uh, groups and uh, we can select, say, at most just four land puzzles. The learning uh, principle is the same uh, as the, uh, the special case. That is, we need to characterize the, uh, the consistency between the selection of land puzzles and uh, the positive inst uh, training instances. And then we want to maximize uh, the consistency. So this, uh, this work is still ongoing, so I don't have any uh, result yet. Um, here is a summary, um, the reserve design problem. And uh, for the special case, we have a method TTK, and also 
uh, we are solve, uh, trying to solve the problem with linear constraint. Okay. Thank you very much.